Normally every week I come on here and I ask you, what team are you on? Hashtag team Molly, hashtag team Ethan. And I, I, I don't have one. At this point, I'm just team Derek. <laughs> Hey everyone, it's me, Ellery, and I am back with another recap and review of Insecure Season 4. So if you're interested, make sure you stick around and stay tuned. While you're here, I tell you all this every time, make sure that you go ahead and subscribe and then turn on your notifications so you don't miss any new videos from me. All right, y'all, let's go ahead and get into it. was the fifth episode of the season and it was called low key moving on so we know last week you know things kind of were just real shady just real shady okay between Issa and molly and in this episode it finally came to a head but before i get into that let me go ahead and give you all my quick and dirty recap of last night's episode which by the way spoil alert so if you have not watched the episode be sure to do that and then come back let's go ahead and get into the quick and dirty Last night's episode, like I said, was called Loki Moving On. And this episode was all about the block party. Finally, we've been counting down to the block party and it's finally here. And so it opens up with Issa. She's kind of scrolling through Instagram, kind of like moping around the house or whatever. And we finally see the season premiere opening scene happen in this current episode. So when she says in the opening of the premiere where she was like, I don't really fool with Molly like that anymore. We finally see what got to that and who she was on the phone with, which was Nathan. You can tell that her and Molly, of course, still have something going on based on what she said. And then we cut to see that Andrew and Molly are still going strong. Um, she's struggling with what she should wear if she even wants to go. She actually mentions that the case that she was working on that had her really, really busy, they won and she had a celebration and Issa did not come, but she still decides to go anyway. Kelly, Tiffany, and Derek, they're all at the block party already too. Um, Kelly is being Kelly. She actually has this British accent going on for a new boo that she has. If you know Kelly, you just know. And sometimes you just gotta let things be. And we see that Tiffany is probably struggling a little bit with probably postpartum because um, she mentions how um, the baby didn't latch on. Um, she was finally out of the house. She didn't want to go back home when the babysitter called. And then she also mentions like, oh, I should probably leave her at the, at the supermarket or something. Uh, it sounded like a joke, but I think that there's definitely something deeper going on. Also, we find out that Lawrence and Condola did break up. It seems as if she really just kind of just left Issa hanging. However, she did help with some interns and she wanted to show up to make sure that the vendors were good. And she says, I didn't really know if I was coming. Um, and then there's almost this moment where there's like this ray of hope with Molly and Issa because the wobble. Am I the only person that hates the wobble? I'm so sick of the wobble. I still rather you just play the electric slide. They come together, they high five each other, they're laughing, they're pointing. You're like, oh, Molly and Issa is so cute. Okay, and, and that, that's where it ended. It, that's where it's ended. Once it was over, we find out that Andrew did a favor. Molly's like, what was the favor? Come to find out that he helped get the artist there. Um, for the block party um, after Nathan asked him for a favor from Issa, which was the exact thing that Issa asked of Molly and Molly decided to not do that. So Molly ends up confronting Issa and Issa's like, whoa, why are we doing this right here? And everything that they've been feeling ends up coming out. And I mean, like, they went, they, they went for each other. Like I said, everything pretty much happened at the block party. The block party was the basis. It was very successful. The artist was great. The food was great. Everybody showed up. Everybody had a good time. The drama was internal. So like I said, quick and dirty rundown. Now, let me tell y'all some things that, that bothered me, okay? That bothered me and got underneath my skin. For one, oh, where is Lawrence? Where is Lawrence? Now see, you, you didn't have no problem sending me laughing and emojis and stuff and cracking jokes with me at the coffee shop and trying to figure out who the baby looked like outside of Derek and Tiffany's house, but you didn't even come to my event. I'm trying, where you, where you was at? Nathan 
it was really good to see him. And I called it. I said it last week that Nathan, like, this was somebody she could have reached out to from the jump. She didn't even have to ask Molly. She could have asked Nathan. Um, but it was cool to see him. Glad that he's doing better. Um, glad that he's doing well in general. But it was really good to see him. And I'm interested to see, like, if their relationship is going to come into play or what, because that's going to be stupid, awkward, and even messier being that Molly is in a serious relationship with Andrew and Andrew and Nathan are roommates. So that can get a little messy and a little sticky. I love the way that Andrew was supporting Molly. Even with the fact of doing a favor, he was like, I mean, that's your friend. I wanted to help her. It wasn't, you know, it wasn't as big of a deal that she made it out to be, but I also understand Molly setting those boundaries. I think he could see that this relationship is important and he wants them to work it out. So I really like, I was like, okay, Andrew, okay. Um, I really hope that somebody notices what's going on with Tiffany. Like sometimes I think she just kind of feels like everybody's caught up in their own stuff that they're not paying attention to me, but she also does a really good job of deflecting. So um, I'm just really nervous for her. And then the last thing is y'all, cause it was like, okay, when Molly said something, I was like, okay, you're right. You're kind of right. And then Issa said something, I'm like, yeah, Molly does do that. It's like, Okay, was Issa wrong? Molly was like, I don't want to, I don't want to blur those lines. I don't want to involve myself. And she was like, I know. And you said you didn't want to get involved. So I went another route. And my thing is like, what if she had just went to Andrew herself? Like, would you still be upset? Would you still feel like she went behind your back? Like, was she supposed to tell you? Like, I'm, but at the same time, when she said, it's not a rule, I was setting boundaries. I was like, that's good. That's good therapy right there, Molly. Like, okay, I understand that. Like you're just setting boundaries around yourself and your relationship. Because like she said too, she's never even gotten this far to where she's had to prioritize a relationship. And now you're asking me to do a favor? Like that's, but then there was a moment where she was like kind of mad at Andrew because it was like, you know, she and I aren't getting along. And he's like, I mean, yeah, but maybe, maybe in his mind, he thought this would have helped. I, I just, y'all, I don't know. Like, I don't know. And then they started calling each other Bia Bia's and, and I don't know. I, I am speechless. That whole scene, I was like, and you know, they both got that, especially Molly. Molly be having that kind of like, she was like, what you gonna do? And I was like, oh snap. Like I wanted to take off my own earrings. I was like, oh God, please don't hit each other. Please don't hit each other. Cause you know, you can't really come back from a physical fight. I felt like they both had very valid points. I'm, <laughs> I don't know. I, I... Overall, I thought the episode was good. I, I'm gonna leave it up to you all. Let's talk in our comments because we've been talking all week. Leave me some comments below. Let me know you all's thoughts. Are you hashtag Team Molly or hashtag Team Issa? Or are you just hashtag confused? Don't want to pick a side because you understand both sides and you just want them to be friends. So basically, you're Team Ellery because <laughs> that's how I feel. Leave me some thoughts below. Let me know how you all are feeling about the episode. And until next week, I love you and thank you for watching. Bye.